I didn't know that 60 years ago, a protest took place which contributed to advancing the rights of black people. It's known as the Bristol Bus Boycott. The campaign led by Paul, Guy, Roy, Audley, Owen, Barbara, Prince, and many others brought about the actions that ultimately led to the 1965 and 1968 Race Relations Act. They came on a Bristol bus that 60 years ago they couldn't have worked on. The company and today Parliament now honour those who organised the boycott. Indeed, inside Parliament they were shown an original copy of that act. This is the original copy. Oh, wow. There was much praise from leading politicians for what they'd achieved and a pledge to keep up the fight against discrimination. The Bristol bus boycott is one of the biggest achievements in overcoming injustice in this country. I speak for the whole Labour Party and the whole Labour movement in expressing our gratitude to you for what you achieved. Their boycott lasted three months and caught the attention of Labour leader Harold Wilson. The government stepped in and made it an offence for anyone to discriminate against black people. Remember that the Bristol Om Omnibus Company was a state-owned company. So the UK state was implementing a colour bar. To recognise your exceptional service to the city, the Mayor, Party Group leaders and I would like to hold an extraordinary meeting to grant you the freedom of the city. The highest civic honour we can bestow on citizens. One Anglican church in Bristol is shining a light on its past in a very surprising way, through its stained glass windows. The winning design itself portrays Jesus in multiple ethnicities in biblical and contemporary scenes, accompanied by the question, who is my neighbor? I An honour to receive this achievement for what we've all done. Welcome to PRSC. We're just here getting ourselves ready for our exhibition. The struggle continues. Celebrating the achievements of the Bristol Bus Boycott and the 60 year anniversary which is coming up, but we decided not to stop there and to celebrate all the other amazing protests and social justice movements that have happened in Bristol. to celebrate the Bristol bus boycott and the boycotters and also to kind of show people what keeps with political organisation. And as a large employer and those which actually provide physical mobility, I am deeply aware of what we can do and what we will do. And rest assured, you have my advocacy. 
it is a fight that we have to continue. It's never ending. It'll never stop. When you think it's gone to sleep, it raises an ugly head and you start all over again. So you cannot hold to let it die. Just keep on going. All of you youngsters, just keep on going. And then finally, um, Bristol, unfortunately, as I said, is the seventh most unequal city for people of colour to live in today. But let's flip it, reverse it. If we put in a mirror, it looks like a one. So how can we become the best city for people of colour to live in by 2030? I think we can do that. Let's answer the call. I belong right here.